Hi, this is Neha and I welcome you all to this class in which we are going to take some important questions for your preparation of your UGC net examination for the subject psychology. Let's quickly begin today's class but before that I would request you to please subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet and you will find a lot of MCQs, a lot of questions uh, answer series on our channel. Uh, you can visit our playlist and there you will find all the stuff. So let's begin with question number one which is right in front of you. In an experiment, the stimuli were presented to the subjects in certain order and after the presentation of stimuli, their order was disturbed. In the test phase, the subjects were needed to set them in the presented order. Which of the following methods was used in the experiment? It's a very simple experiment. We also do this experiment with students when we give them something, we show them something and we disturb the order and we ask them to recreate the order. So simply answer C has to be the correct answer where reconstruction has been done in the experiment. Coming to the question number two, which is uh, an assertion reasoning based question. Two statements are given and we have to tell which, uh, which category does it fall to. So if your teacher embarrasses you for asking a question in class, it is less likely that you would ask question in class in future. Second is negative reinforcements reduces the occurrence of a behavior. For this, you should know what re negative reinforcement is. Then only you can answer this question. So we are given a session and reasoning. Now we have four codes. Uh, see, negative reinforcement is not responsible for reducing the occurrence of behavior. A negative reinforcement is something through which uh, a desired outcome or a desired behavior is produced, but the manner is negative. So reason uh, that means the reason is wrong here so option c becomes the correct one that a is true a is true you know that when teacher uh, you know discourages us for something we are not uh, well encouraged for asking asking the question next time so this happens generally what is the correct sequence of sympathetic and parasympathetic division given below this you have to remember because this is the order this is the correct sequence which we have to remember it's uh, this question is based on the biological basis of behavior so option C is the correct one. Remember that the human ear can generally hear sound ranging from which one again 20 to 2000 Hertz. This uh, question is based on the sensory activities, sensory motor activities, which we perform. So our sense uh, ear is one of the sense organ of our body. So 20 to 2000 Hertz is the correct answer that a human ear can generally hear. You have to match the list. Ma list one is there given on the left hand side. And second is given on the another side. Now the personality theory is given on the left hand side. And on what part have they focused? For this you should know all the theories. But through this question one very interesting thing is also coming out. Let me tell you what. Personality theory for example if we take behaviorist. So we should understand what, what was the thing that was the central part of the theory psychodynamics what was the central part of the theory so that central part is written on the right hand side on the list two so when we try to match the list with each other we find the correct answer as a two for behaviorist three for psychodynamics uh, four for biological and self-concept for humanistic so we should have the correct answer as two three four one let's see if we have this answer two three four one yes we have c so c has to be the correct answer okay Moving on, uh, the chronological age that most typically corresponds to a given level of performance is called which one? It is called mental age. Okay, so you should remember that the chronological age that typically corresponds to a given level of performance that, that is known as mental age. The role of unconscious in creative thinking is known as the process of which one? Inoculation, that is the role of the unconscious in creative thinking and that is known as inoculation. Now moving on to the next question, which factor is not much related to happiness? High self-esteem, of course, it is related to the happiness. Close relationship is, of course, meaningful religious faith also makes us happy. Educational level does not have nothing to do with the happiness. You will find the people who are not literate, who are not well educated or even not educated, but they are happy. So happiness is not much related to educational level. Which of the correct order of products given by Guilford? See, when you study Guilford theory, you get to know that unit class relation system transformation implication. This is the correct, which is option C. This is the correct um, answer for the products given in the Guilford theory. Guilford theory was given by J.P. Guilford, Joy Paul Guilford. And in his theory, he explained intelligence in terms of the cubic structure. And one of the uh, side of the cube which is known as products.
Moving on to the next question, which is not the obstacle to problem solving? We have heuristics. Heuristics shows that there is no obstacle to the problem solving. Rest of the things, confirmation bias. Bias is always cognitive thinking, is associated with the cognitive part. So definitely bias has to, uh, you know, problem solve. This will create problem in, in the problem solving. Fixation will also Fixation do. Fixation is uh, one of a kind of a defense mechanism, mental set also, and heuristic does not have to anything with this. So option D is the correct answer. Now two statements are given to us. One level is assertion and another is reason. So you have to indicate your answer using the given code given below. Algorithm is a logical rule that guarantees solving a particular problem. One can find the solution even to complex problems by following step-by-step -step procedure. Now we are given two codes here, four codes here. We see both are true, both are correct. Option A and C, assertion and reason both are correct, but they, you know, are not interrelated with each other. So it's not the correct explanation. Coming to question number so, two, sorry, 12, which of the following statement concerning reinforcement is correct? We are given four options. Read the options properly and then you will get to know that option B is the correct answer here. Take your time and read the question, read the options and then see that option B is the correct. Learning is most rapid with continuous reinforcement but partial reinforcement produces the greatest resistance to extinction. You know what partial reinforcement is when uh, we take time, we give the reinforcement but there is a time gap between the reinforcement that becomes Partial reinforcement and rapid reinforcement is what? Rapid and continuous when whenever it is required. Rapid and continuous does not mean that one after another immediate. No, that, that includes proper time interval. And partial reinforcement may have, you know, irregular time interval. So, obviously, when partial reinforcement will be there, so a resistance to extinction will be more. So, option B is the correct one. The sentence blue jeans wear false smile has correct syntax but incorrect semantics okay moving on to question number 14 now again there is a matching thing is there types of thinkers is given and every type of thinking has certain characteristics go through the types of thinking and go through the characteristics and now think of the situation again thinking process has to be done here and we will see that four codes are given to us now go through both the list and uh, you will create a code when you know what a type of thinking are and what characteristics do they have then you will find these codes and one of the code has to be correct which is option d here moving on to the next the question function of autocratic behavior is to which one qualify responses express relations provide a grammatical framework for verbal behavior we are given four codes and we see that one two three all three are correct in case of autocratic behavior so option d is the correct one now there are 50 questions in this pdf i have taken 15 i'll be taking the next uh, questions in the next video so that you can understand them better you can uh, download this pdf from our telegram channel and there you will find all the questions for your practice you can also subscribe to the channel for more stuff and as i said in the beginning that you will find the playlist there you will find all the stuff for your practice so i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye